reimagining the RIT archive story booth. Take a look at these two images. What are your initial perceptions? These are the current images of the RIT archive story booth. It consists of a computer and a divider with foam boards. Some of the engineering requirements correlate with our customer requirements. The main ones being that each component needs to be less than 50 pounds, the entire components need to be easy to transport, they need to isolate sound with a small collapsible footprint. The software needs to be easy to understand, have cloud storage, and have a documented system. Here's the overview of the physical booth. On the left side of the screen, you can see two CAD mockups of the photo booth-esque outer structure. It's inspired by the classic photo booth with one open wall to be covered by a curtain. This is the first page that our archives will see when they start the web application. This verifies that all the connections are successful. From this point on, they can select all the prompts that they want users um, to be able to select once they're doing interviews. This is based on Google Sheet and a shared Google Drive. Uh, from this point on, once the prompts are chosen by the admins, users are able to use the application. The first step that they'll have to do is sign a consent form. The second step they'll have to do is pick what prompts they want to be interviewed on. And the final step that they have to do is actually interview themselves. This is a black screen, but um, when they're actually using the application, they would see their face here or the audio wavelength. Um, all of the data that they record, all the prompts that they choose, is all uploaded to a shared drive. And then all the information in there is then scanned through using RIT Research Computing's um, computing hardware. And they transcribe the video using Whisper AI to make the process easier for RIT archives instead of having to manually type out all the transcriptions for these videos.